sequences from my day seven range program, which is just a full body flow stretch movement class. Um, I don't want to say it's yoga, but it's like a flow yoga system where you flow from one position to the next and to the next. And this particular one is such a nice one to do. And how we're going to do it is we're going to start off in a plank with our feet quite close together. All right, and then our moving leg. We're going to push up into a nice deep dog stretch, and as we do that, we're going to raise that one leg as high as you can get it. Try not to open the hip, keep the hip closed, push your weight off your hands into that standing foot, dropping the heel, and then you raise that top leg as high as you can get it. Whatever your height is, is high enough. As high as you can get it, pushing your weight off your hands into your feet or into that standing foot. Then you're going to bring that knee in to your wrist on the same side. Swivel that foot underneath the other hip. Slide that other leg back as far back as you can get. So you're obviously getting a nice deep glute stretch. All right. You don't want to flop over onto that bum cheek. You actually want to transfer your weight onto the hip side of the back leg of this long leg. So you move it over to the long leg side. Drop your arms down, lift that back knee, slide these arms forward, don't flop. Slide these arms forward, transfer that weight over to the straight leg side, extending your spine, not flopping, extending, and you're going to feel a nice deep stretch all over this side of that glute and that bum cheek. All right, and then you're going to bring it in, bring those elbows in, take the arms on the same side of this front leg. We're going to rotate as much as we can, transferring all that weight over to the straight leg side, keeping that straight knee locked. We reach up, then we reach back, back of the hand going around the back of the lower back, and all the way down, trying to find that foot that's underneath the hip, this top shoulder. We're going to rotate as far back as we can, so now we're getting spinal movement, and we look up to the ceiling, and then from there we're going to release this hand, Take it behind the elbow that's still on the floor, extend it, so now this hand's gone all the way over to the other side, in line with the straight leg's hip, all right, and then what we're going to do is lift that back leg, grab the foot from the inside, and you're going to pull it to that bum cheek, as close as you can get, and then you're going to be getting a hip flexor and quad stretch, all right. So do that, nice and slow, nice and controlled, do it a few times each side. What we're getting is a glute stretch, spinal rotation, and we're getting a quad and hip flexor stretch on this side. And when you swap, obviously we swap the sides that we're stretching. Give it a go, let me know how it goes. Think about spinal extension and you're good to go. Have a nice day.